steps to develop your subconscious mind. Hi, my name is Dr. Meghna Dixit. I'm the author of the book You Manual and Brain and Performance Expert. Today we're going to talk about what are the three steps that you can rewire your subconscious mind. You know, our entire education system is based on developing our conscious mind. Your conscious mind is only one eighth of the entire mind, and your subconscious mind is seven eighth of your mind. Now you only decide which one is more powerful. Your subconscious mind is seven times more powerful than your conscious mind, and your entire life you probably spent in developing your conscious mind. And there's a reason a lot of us struggle in our lives. Before we dive deeper, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that and hit the bell icon. Now, if you're ready, type "ready" in the comment section so that we straight dive into the three steps to rewire your subconscious mind. The first step. The first step is so critical, so important. That is understanding: Do you have any sort of a mixed associations or cross purposes for any of your desire? What is a mixed association or a cross purpose? If a part of you wants to achieve or wants that desire very badly, but there's a part of you which is constantly putting up the resistance when you take action, your inertia, laziness, procrastination—all of these are the outcomes of this mixed association. There's a part of you which truly, consciously, or logically believes that yes, you can do it and you must do it, but there's a huge part of you which says that you know what, you can't do it. Or it's not possible. You have never done it. Or you know, you're you're just like your father. You're like your mother. You're you're lazy. You're this and that. And there are so many mixed associations attached to the desires that you have for yourself. Every time you catch yourself, every time you find yourself that you're not able to go forward or take action, stay there and check. What is the mixed association that you might have for this desire? What's going on inside you? What's going on inside your subconscious mind that is not allowing you to move forward? Remember, you may be very intelligent, you may be very smart, you have great intention, and you're hardworking, and you set all the goals. But if you're not able to achieve them, then there is definite, definite reason that you have within yourself. There's an association that you have to all those desires, and that association maybe is a negative association. So you want to quickly check within yourself at this point of time. Pick up any of your desires that you were waiting to achieve for a very long time, and you're not able to do it. Just pick that up and ask yourself this question: What sort of a mixed association do I have for this desire? Write down your positive intentions towards those desires, and then take a look at negative associations. Like, what would your father say? What would your mother say? What would your grandparents say? What would your neighbor would say? What would your society would say? What would your friends say? What would your teacher say? What would your probably uh, a religious guru say? What are their associations with that desire of yours? And do you see there is any sort of a mixed association when it comes to that desire? Because see, when you're growing up. For the first few years of our life, we are majorly dependent on the people around us, and their ideas, their beliefs, becomes our ideas. If you haven't worked on those ideas, most likely the dreams that you have may not come to reality because there will be cross purpose inside you. Because if you take action towards that dream, then you're going to betray that personality or that person that was there in your life. So you want to make sure that you clear up this mixed association. either you drop the desire or you drop the mixed association and suddenly you will see you're starting to move in the right direction the second step to rewire your subconscious mind is self belief if you do not believe in yourself and the whole world believes in you your subconscious mind will not work for you but if the whole world is against you and if you believe in yourself the your subconscious mind will work for you It's very very important to develop the self belief to understand where you come from and where you want to go. Conditioning your mind to achieve what you want by instilling that self belief. 
increasing your self esteem your confidence if you haven't checked out my video on self esteem go ahead do that the link is here make sure that you increase your value i've done a video on that as well so how to increase your value it's very very important how do you start becoming more and more confident in your life how do you overcome your all the battle that goes on inside your brain that stops you from believing in yourself how do you expand your self belief it's very very important that if you want to move forward rewiring your subconscious mind to achieve your best life then you start believing in yourself let the world say whatever they have to say the third step to rewire your subconscious mind to achieve your success and this step is my most favorite one you know if you want to create a great life for yourself it stands on the three pillars the first pillar is clarity of intention the second pillar is elevated emotions and the third pillar is matching the vibrational frequency now you see the second pillar as i was talking about the elevated emotions it's very 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 important this step is absolutely critical now you see your subconscious mind does not understand the difference between the positive emotions and the negative emotions let me reiterate it again your subconscious mind does not understand the positive emotions or negative emotions it only understands the repetition If you constantly feel negative or if you are repeating the negative emotions or feeling inside you or not to pilot then your subconscious mind is going to say that has to or so be it it doesn't understand the difference between what's positive and negative it only understands the repetition so then your primary intention and your primary focus has to be changing your emotions working on the emotions all said and done you may be a great at what you do but you may still be struggling in your life because your emotions are negative how do you start building positive emotions inside you a very simple step that you can do is every single day start writing the gratitude journal what good things are happening in your life already now some of you might say that i don't know there is nothing happening good in my life that's not possible If you're watching this video that means you have availability of the internet mostly you have a laptop or a smartphone you have a house you have clothes you have food to eat you you wake up every single day morning imagine you're breathing every single day and every single moment you don't have to think about it small little things it doesn't have to be very big but small little things you can keep writing in your gratitude journal the moment you start focusing on what you're grateful for what you already have you will suddenly see the emotion shifting in your space the second thing that you can do for yourself is for every small move that you make reward yourself build that enthusiasm and bring the emotion of celebration it doesn't have to be very big it can be very simple very small but it has to be enthusiasm excitement and celebration the moment you bring in all of these emotions even if it's at the smaller level it's all right and you can then you'll see the you know the ball rolling because you will find more ways to celebrate you will find more ways to be excited and enthusiastic and you will find more ways to be grateful for so these three steps are extremely critical if you want to rewire your subconscious mind so these are my three steps to rewire your subconscious mind if you like this video give me a like share it with at least 10 people and make sure that you put in the comment section which is your most favorite step are you going to work on your mixed associations are you going to increase your self belief or you're going to increase your emotions elevation in your emotions see you next time bye bye